Minicamp. Do you have like, do you make wallets and stuff in Minicamp? What do you do? Yeah, what do you guys like? Uh, is it arts and crafts? Do you have like a dead like? <laughs> I wish. You don't know? have any free song. time. You go the whole, uh, you go from we get up at 5:45 and we went until uh, by nine o'clock at night. You no, know, just meetings, practice, more meetings, and practice again, and then now, more meetings, and then food. I, I couldn't even get out of high school, so I'd have to imagine. To me, I'd rather just keep playing. The meetings, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah that's. Easy. If we didn't have the meetings, I'd be, I'd be, be in trouble. Yeah, yeah you gotta what, have what, the meetings. Yeah, that's where you learn all the defensive stuff, though. Uh, I understand, but yeah. <laughs> it's schoolwork. It's yeah. almost like it's in school. You're in school. It's not that bad because you get to watch film and stuff too. So it goes what do they like, show? Like they don't show the last year. They show so. the, old, the last year. Or the year what do you learn from last year? They, they were 29th. Here's what we screwed up. Yeah. Okay, right here. Knock yeah. It down. And Pretty then much. here's where we screwed up, and there's where we screwed up, and there's where they should show you like the Butkus years. <laughs> now watch, <laughs> watch him pick up the man, and and, and and watch him pick up the man and take him 10 yards back, and then put his helmet into his chest as he drops him. That'd be good. You've seen the soup. You've seen Butkus. I've seen him. Oh. oh yeah. I've From CBS to Chicago at Pasta Pasta on Chicago's Northwest Side, Come Disco presents Overtime with Mike North. Tonight's guest, Chicago Bear draftee Brian Erlocker. And now, your Emmy Award winning host from the score, Sports Radio 1160, Mike North! Welcome to Cobb Disco's Overtime with Mike North, right here at Basta Pasta on the northwest side of Chicago, on CBS2 Chicago. And he's from New Mexico. He made 140 tackles last year. The guy came out of nowhere. He's the Bears' number one pick. We're going to find out all about him. I don't know. He's the best player I've never seen. Ladies and gentlemen, Brian Erlacher. <laughs> You like that one? The best player I've never seen. <laughs> never seen. I'm telling you. Hey. Sit down, down, buddy. Uh, Welcome. Thank you. Um, first thing I got to say is I can't, it, there is a Brian Urlacher. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I really uh, didn't hear about you till the senior ball. I mean, now you, what was the name of the conference that you were playing in? The Mountain West. It the was Mountain a, West. Yeah, we went from the WAC to the Mountain West. Okay. Now, straight up. You didn't have a lot of games on television, right? Because I watch a lot of college football. Late night ESPN. So you catch yeah. us every once in a while. Every once in a while you can catch us on late night, but hardly any. Uh, you made a name for yourself, not only for what you did, but the scouts started noticing you. They heard about you, maybe, but the combine was the big deal, right? Yeah, the senior bowl was pretty good, but the combine, after that, it was, everyone was wanting to talk to me then. And my name got out there, and once someone says something good about you, it's over with. Everyone wants to talk to you then. So everyone what, shows interest. What did you do at the combine? that caught everybody's attention? I think it's just because I ran the 40. Uh, most of the guys rated pretty high I don't run the 40, and I went ahead and did it, and uh, everyone, I mean, they were pretty excited that I ran. I ran a good time, and I did good in all the drills, too, so I they were excited about that. So what'd you run the 40 in? I ran 4-5, which is, uh, I ran 4-4 the weekend before. Because there's uh, receivers that run 4-4, running backs that run 4-4-4-5. Yeah, but it says a slow track there. I believe it, too. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now, now you, played, you played a lot of safety. Mm -hmm. You really didn't start until the last couple of years, right? Yeah, my first years I played behind a, a well, a junior, and then my sophomore year he was a senior. Okay, so you played some safety, but they moved you around, right? You played safety, you played linebacker, you played you returned punch, you played tight end, uh, you know, you played fullback. You did it all, right? Yeah, I played everywhere. I mean, we didn't uh, we didn't have a lot of guys on our team that could do much, and uh, they, they threw me wherever wherever I, I told them. I mean, I'd ask him if I could play certain positions, and he just throw me in there, and most of the time it worked. Did you ever ask him if, like, you tossed the ball a little bit? Always, but that, I mean, everybody wants to be quarterback. <laughs> okay. But uh, that never happened. So, so now you played a lot of safety, and you like the middle of the field. Yes. What I'm trying to figure out is why the Bears want you to play Sam. over on the left side of the field. I mean, wh what did they tell you about this? Quickest way to get on the field. Uh, I mean, right away. I guess, I mean, Barry's a good middle linebacker, and uh, I guess that's the quickest way for me to get on the field, but I understand, and uh, it's the easiest one to learn, too. So that, that has a big deal there, too, because there's so much stuff to learn. So are we going to see, like, it would seem to me your chance of making a lot of tackles playing on on the outside is going to be tough, especially if they're running away from you. You'd rather be in the middle where you can get, hit, hit both sides, right? Yeah, that's where everybody wants to be. I mean, that's definitely where I want to be, but uh, if I can get on the field to Sam quicker, I mean, uh, I'm happy with it. So how many tackles would they be happy with? I think last year, or he said 40 tackles is uh, what the guy had last year or something like that. 40? So 40, yeah. That's a, not very many. <laughs> we got to see more yeah. than 40 tackles. Yeah. We're going to have to see more than 40 <laughs> tackles, but you think that they'll, they'll eventually move you inside? 
I think maybe when, once Barry's done, I think, uh, but uh, I don't I'm not, I have any idea. I mean, I'm just there. I do what they tell me to do, and uh, mm -hmm. do it with a smile. Well, you, so. you, do, you know what? Here's the deal. It, you've been in mini camp. How's it been? I mean, did, did they have, like, is it just action nonstop? It's going the whole time. I mean, we woke up. Usually in college, when you have camp something, you get a nap in between. No naps. You gotta, you gotta go the don't whole. Don't they have like a little yeah, break, like in kindergarten, yeah. where you put your yeah. head down, See. or you got like they give you the milk break? Exactly. We don't arts, get that. Did they, did they have arts and crafts? No, we get, we get a lunch break, so, but you, no nap time though, so it, it wasn't as good. So you just had lunch, but you couldn't wait for lunch. No, yeah, was couldn't. Oh man, well you have to you eat breakfast like six thirty, get lunch at twelve thirty, so. Man, it's almost I'm like a real break. job. Yeah. Forget about this. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like a real job, right? Yeah. It sucks, yeah. doesn't yeah. Start, it? Starting to realize it's a job. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back with more Brian and Rocky. be straight up with you. I wanted the kicker. I wanted Janikowski. I wanted him at number nine because he's a guy, last year we lost four games, four because we couldn't kick the ball through the uprights. Yeah. Now I understand they got Edinger, but this guy here is like once Automatic. in a lifetime type kicker. They, yeah. You know, he, could, he, he might kick, account for 11 points a game, you know? So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make about 120 tackles this year for everybody to forget about the kicker. <laughs> We're not putting any pressure on you. I'll do my best. All right. You know, it, as far as kickers go, I mean, I thought he was the best. And I, the thing that really astounded me was how high he went for somebody that nobody – we all watch college football. How many people heard of Brian before December, before the Senior Bowl? And this is a big yeah, town. That doesn't you know? surprise me, yeah. This is a big town. New Mexico's a long ways away. It doesn't, doesn't surprise me yeah. not at all. Did, how, how many other schools looked at you when you got out of high school? One. They wanted me to walk on. Which one was it? Texas Tech. Well, and then I got a scholarship from New Mexico State after I committed to UNM. Uh huh. And it was too late. So. Just and what position were you slated to play originally? Uh, either wide out or, uh, or safety or linebacker. One of those three. Okay. I started out as safety. Now let's get to, let's get to the cool stuff. Where are you going to live? Are you going to live downtown where you can have some fun? Or are you going to oh. live out there in Lake Forest where you, can, you fall asleep at nine o'clock? I want to live out there in Blake Forest. Okay. okay, now McNown's, McNown, I guess, is going to live downtown. Yeah. He told me he's living downtown. Of course, he didn't live downtown the first year. Yeah. Maybe you changed your mind, right? I don't know. That's a long drive. It's like 35 minutes or so. <laughs> I'm not used to driving. That's right. You got to don't get a limo. <laughs> I don't want a limo. <laughs> I'd rather drive myself. That's too far. Yeah. Now, it, too far. did they show you films of, of the Bear defense? Yes, I, we watched it this week. Well, what did you learn from watching last year's? You couldn't have learned anything. <laughs> we, got... watched, we watched the good place. <laughs> we watched the cut-ups in the good place. I didn't see anything bad. So they showed you about five minutes of film. <laughs> right? <laughs> and then they, then they had bad. an intermission. No, it wasn't that They got to show you Butkus film. That's what they got to show you. Or Buffon or Otis Wilson. Did they show you any of the 85 stuff? Or the, no, None of those guys. Just the ESPN. There's the only time you get to watch that. You know? And you've seen Butkus, right? Oh yeah, I've seen them all. Yes, sir. Now he was on. Now he was on the show here about I say three, three, four weeks ago. I mean, sure. you're pre pretty big. He's, he's a monster. Bigger. Yeah, he's, he's just his shoulders, his shoulders are, so are like this. Yeah. You know. Yeah, he's, and he's still. You know what? See, you got a nice disposition. Dick once in a while gets a little. He was great the night of the show, mm -hmm. but he still walks around like he wants to tackle somebody. <laughs> can you separate yourself? I mean, uh, I can try. I'm doing pretty good. I think I don't. You know, I know when I'm on the football field, I know when I'm not. Was there any hazing today uh, or at the mini camp? Did no, anybody sir. give you a hard time? No. Does, that, does that happen once camp starts? I, don't, I hope not, but. Uh, oh, everyone, you know uh, it's going to happen. Come on. They say it doesn't, but uh, I mean, the mini camp, no, no one hazed me or nothing like that. No, nobody. I mean, it was, it was real. You nice. know why? Because no. they need you. <laughs> they need all of us. Well, yeah. Was, and how did, how, did the team look, how did the team look to you, the defense? They look good. We got a lot of, we got a lot of like, we're, we're deep. I know that linebacker. And, I mean, everyone, everyone was real nice. I mean, mm -hmm. We looked pretty good out, out there. I know that. I read the paper after the first day of minicamp, and I said, I don't know if I want to hear this from our first-round draft pick. You said, quote, everything's so damn fast, right? It is. Compared to what you played against. Yeah, well, it's not as fast as I make it seem, but uh, it's, it's an adjustment, and uh, I'll just have to get used to it. I mean, I think I did pretty good at minicamp, mm -hmm. but I know everyone's good. There's not one better person out there. Only four players from your conference – were drafted, wow. and nobody was drafted lower than fifth round, and three of them were linemen, and there was one running back. So you were a man-child in that conference, but there weren't a whole lot of 
great players coming out of that conference. Yeah, the, we, I mean, uh, I mean, you're right. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of we didn't have a lot of good players, but um, we feel like it's a pretty good conference. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, we had three three teams go to bowl games last year, mm -hmm. and uh, we had another guy go in the first round. I think late in the first round, we had a guy get oh, drafted, really? a linebacker from BYU. But uh, I mean, we feel like we play pretty good football. But I realized at the senior yeah, Rob, that, you're talking that, about Rob. I think Rob Morse. Rob Morse, yeah. 25 year old uh, linebacker yeah, from BYU. Year, yes, but he went like to 29 or something to Indianapolis. All right, now do you have? Uh, are you dunks with school, or do you have uh, some time left? I still have two semesters left. I uh, only went three and a half years. I didn't redshirt, so I, so I got a little time left. You're going to go back someday? Much as I don't want to, I think I probably will. I mean, I don't like school that much, but uh, it's good to have a degree, I guess. You don't like school either? <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, give me five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do not like it. It's pretty hard once that check comes rolling in. That's you what, know? I, that's what to, I told to, 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 to you your butt back to, to New Mexico. Can you take classes? Oh, you'll, you'll, take here, the, yeah. you'll go to UIC or something. Somewhere out here, yeah. Just take a, a quarter or something like that and get it, get it in a hurry. So you don't mm -hmm. have to go a semester or something like so that. So have you had a chance to see town at all? No, not at all. I've been out there the whole time. When I came on my visit, I was out there. When I came after the draft, I was out there. So this is the first did time the, I've been out there. Now, i got to tell you, did the Bears fly a commercial or did they fly first class? First class. All right, they're, they're, they're getting better. They're, they're, they're getting better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they were by far the best ones. Uh, they, everyone else. I'll never forget, they flew Rashawn Salam commercial and he left, he got out of the plane, he was wearing a 49er jacket. I'll never forget that. <laughs> the guy's our number one pick. He, I go, this guy ain't going to make it. He thinks he's in California. But he was on the weed, though. Oh, Which was? You, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. Hey, See, that's not you're just thing. milk, hey, straight milk and everything straight else, milk right? milk and cookies, that's yeah. right, man. The milk and cookies milk and, and cookies, that's it. I'm happy. That's right. You on the wagon right now? I'm on the wagon. All right, good. That's good. I'm on the wagon, too. It's boring, yeah. isn't it? No, I enjoy it. You enjoy it? <laughs> yeah. All right. But well, when you're off, it's, it's tough. I'll do, you, you'll be back in, in a couple of years. You'll be doing beer commercials. <laughs> We're going to take a break. <laughs> Brian Erlacher. Back to more today. Help us find homes for animals in need. To adopt this pet, call this number. A public service message from Overtime with Mike North. Before we go on, you know what? Life is good. When you're Brian Urlacher, your number one pick, you're going to play in one of the greatest sports towns in America, and you have a beautiful lady like Lori. <laughs> beautiful girl. There she is. Stand up, Lori. Say hi. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Brian met Lori right after he signed the deal. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Yeah. Wait a minute. And it says here, Mike, can you say happy birthday to Troy Wilson? Where's Troy? Where are you at, Troy? Stand up, Troy. There you are. Happy birthday. Yeah, we'll do that. Remember when you were 16? What were you doing when you were 16 years old? Were you, were you destroying somebody on the football field? I was about 5'11". Yeah? I was a sophomore. I wasn't very big back then. I, was, you never, I didn't destroy anybody. I was trying to run away from people back then. You never took steroids, did you? Please tell us. You no, did. I haven't. Okay. Milkshakes, no. a lot of milkshakes. Milkshakes, creatine. Hey. Creatine. <laughs> <Just stuff. laughs> there you go. Poof. <laughs> creatine. Creatine. You wake up. You, you go to bed at one thirty. You wake up at one ninety. <laughs> creatine. The wonder deal, right? It's, puts water in your muscles. It blows you up. Yeah, yeah. blows you up. You get up one day and you got them things got coming the, out of your neck. Traps. That's right. right. Yep. You said it. Did you uh, talk to the Bears about playing another position? No. I mean, I got, I, you haven't said a word. It got brought up, but Coach Ron said. Uh, Nope. <laughs> See, they're going to bring you along slowly, it looks like. Yeah, today. just concentrate on one position right now. Yeah, and then maybe like down it. the line? Maybe. I don't know. What, I don't know what he has in plans for me, but uh, possibly. Well, that's a good thing because, you know what, they're not, at least you know you're not going to be one. Well, you know what, you probably like running down on kickoffs. Oh, yeah. I hope they don't put me on special teams. You so. want to be on special teams? I don't think that's going to I don't know. You don't think? First round? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? I mean, I'd love to see you run down there, but... Yeah, I definitely huh? want to. I like special teams. Do you, do you get a lot of joy out of, like, hitting a guy so hard that the snot comes out of his nose and he's bleeding? Do you get a lot of joy? Yeah, it feels good. Well, you know you hit them good when they're, when they're on their back and you got little snot bubbles right there. Yeah, that's, snot that's bubbles always, yeah. and their eyes are rolling that's in right. the red. That's always nice. The senior bowl, I mean, you, had, you probably said, you know what, not too many people, you probably were real motivated because you said, not too many people know me, Nobody so I'm going to make me. a name for myself. Yeah, I went there, if I got something to prove to everybody because no one knew who I was, and then, uh, I mean, all week long, what's your name? Where are you from? You know, Mexico. Everyone says Mexico. Are you even, is that state? 
You know, yeah, you tell me out. Yeah, I, I yeah. play in Monterey. Yeah. <laughs> I play at Mexico University. Yeah, University of Juarez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Juarez Tech. Uh, now, do you have to watch your weight? I mean, you have to watch what you eat? No, I eat everything. Anything I want. Uh, I mean, I have trouble gaining weight. It's my problem. I don't tell me you're one of these guys that just likes to eat pasta. You no. like, do you like steaks? No, I like steaks. I it's like a great steak, Tom. Hamburgers, town. everything. And, you, of course, you like Italian food, yes, right? Yes, I like Italian food. Yeah. Now, you want them guys like the tomato sauce? You like that new stuff, the pesto and all that other... <laughs> I don't know, whatever you put on it. Uh, you eat? Good. Yeah, it sounds good to me, whatever you put on Spaghetti it. Spaghetti with creatine. <laughs> I'm a big That's fan. Right. I'm Brian Orlock. <laughs> That's right. You put it on there, I'll eat it. Now, now, are you going you gonna to come out with, the, like, Butkus after, like, a, a couple years start growing the mustache? He, he looked even meaner. You're just going to come out with... Uh, I got blonde hair on my face, yeah. so I don't think I look too tough with a little blonde mustache. Yeah. <laughs> Who was now, who was a guy that impressed you in the Senior Bowl that you wished that the that the Bears would have had a chance at, or maybe he's on the Bears? Um, to tell you the truth, I mean John Abraham from South Carolina. He, he was a 13th pick overall. Uh, he went to the Jets. I think. I mean, he he was a good linebacker, and I thought. I mean, he, he's mm -hmm. impressed me the most out of linebackers. Now, do, now, when you guys go to this thing, is it? It's like a week of just like. I mean, you're not allowed to blitz. I guess yeah, you're not allowed to do a lot of things, right? Now, do you prefer, do you like the blitz? I like the blitz, yeah. It just speeds up the game more. I mean, you got to mm -hmm. rush the quarterback and make him hurry. If not, See, that's what I think they're going to have apart. you do a lot of, too. I come think off the edge. Come off the edge. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, that'd be, that'd be fun. How are you on pass protection? I mean, not pass, uh, <laughs> that's right. pass protection, but forget about it. Well, I don't know. You might have played I'm offensive guard. That. I don't know. You might have played tackle uh, defending the pass. Pretty good. I mean, I, I, it's been guarded tight end all week long. I mean, uh, I still got to learn a lot of technique, but uh, they, have, they don't run away from me, I know that much. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm doing all right. Were you, now, you weren't allowed to hit or anything, were you? No, it was uh, just helmets and, and shorts, that's it. So no contact yet. Dick Duran's a good guy. He's a good guy. See, like we had him. a guy here before him that was a goof. He, I heard you been, I'll tell you this, you would have been perfect for him because there's any one of seven, eight positions he might have moved you to. <laughs> he would have moved you, this guy would have moved you anywhere. I mean, he would have he had you playing center by the time it was all said and done. You know what I mean? We're going to take a break. More with Brian right here today. We're back with Brian Urlacher here on the Overtime with Mike North Show on CBS2 Chicago. Now, your deal. Let's talk about that. Uh, you want to get in. The one thing that I don't like, and I think most fans feel the same way, is when the first round pick isn't in camp. This set Cade McNown back last mm -hmm. year. It's set other guys back in other teams. Uh, and, and, you know, it's a real tough thing. Yeah. What's the situation with your deal? Now, I read today in the paper where you want to get things done as soon as possible. You're going to go in early and stuff like your agent's going to go in early, but we've heard this stuff before. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I mean, uh, that's with uh, age, my agent and, uh, and the Bears, but uh, I mean, I definitely want to be in camp. I know it gets the fans against you, it gets uh, your teammates mad at you, and it gets you behind, too. Mm -hmm. and you can't learn stuff as quick, so I definitely want to be there as fast as possible. Now, have you heard the kind of money they're throwing around? I the numbers I, are tossing around. I have heard. All you do is all I've done is compare it to last year's pick, which is Chris Claiborne. And what did he make? I think, a his, year. I think his contract was jacked up. He got like, well, it was it was still a lot of money, but he only got like a two million dollar signing bonus, and then uh, okay, so you sign and you get they give you the two million like in a paper bag. You sign <laughs> yeah, and you go here. Here's that. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for signing. You no haven't taxes, to, All yeah. you do is sign. Yeah. No taxes, cash yeah, up front. Now, that, then what, what what did he get? Do you know? Any, I think he got two million a year for five years, and then he got that two million signing bonus. Okay, so you're, a, you want to compare the debts to comparable money? To, yeah. Overall money, I guess, or I don't know how right. it works. And you'd like to sign? Uh, would you like to sign a four or five year deal? I think they don't let you sign less than four. If yeah. You, so, so you'll four sign five, four or five. Uh huh. So uh, whatever they want. <laughs> now you got you know this agent? He's an NBA guy. Your agent? Yeah, he's an NBA guy. He's a good guy. I mean, he's gonna. Okay. I mean, I, he, I think the Bears are pretty upfront with. with What's your agent's name? Like Steve Kaufman. Steve Kaufman. Yeah, he lives. He's out of Malibu, California. Okay. So he's got a big house. No, I've never been there. <laughs> You've never been to your agent's house? Oh, no, he always comes to visit me. Okay. Yeah. He doesn't want to see what he's got. That's he doesn't right. want you yeah, to see yeah, what he's got. Yes, he's, he's, make, he's making some making money. Making money off the sweat of athletes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on, this is my yeah. this is my mansion of 30 rooms. Yeah. Sort of like, uh, uh, what, what movie was that? Uh, the one that uh, Denzel Washington was in when he was the basketball player? Which you got one? game? Yeah. yeah. You see that agent? I saw that movie. Yeah. I got four cars. I got this. I got... Yeah, he... You think you can trust this guy? 
Sure, I can trust him. All right. yeah. I think he only got nine bedrooms in his house. I, don't think he has 30 I think what you should tell him. I think what you should tell him is that if you catch him doing anything wrong, what you'll do to him. Just, just, just you know, tell no, him. Just stay a cool guy. About. But if you do something wrong, no, no, something I'm gonna have to, to kill you. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Some, do me some good negotiation. But you want to sign and get things going because I, I you know what? Yeah. Without, yeah, I know the Bears got to pay up, but I get the feeling that you'd play football almost for nothing if you could. Well, I mean, that's why you play the game, because for the love of the game, I mean, mm-hmm. you just get lucky enough to get drafted. So, I mean, we'd like to get paid, but, I mean, it, it just... How much did they pay in New Mexico? 430 bucks a month. Really? Yeah, that's for rent, food, everything. So you get money? Or if you live off campus. But that's for, your rent's like $300 a month. Uh-huh. So you're still getting screwed either way. I mean... I thought you weren't <laughs> allowed to get any money in well, you, get, you get a little bit, but, you know, I mean, it's just... Really? Just Wait, for your housing. housing. Make sure we edit this. <laughs> it's for Hold housing. On. Hold on. I, they gave you money in a check form? The university gives, every school does that on scholarship. Well, we didn't know that. Yeah. We well, just thought that you got your books paid for and that you get the free meal at the cafeteria every so often. No, we get three meals a day and then our scholarship checks for our rent and stuff. All right. But We're going to run not, this thing now. Enough. sure it's okay? It's, it's not enough. No? No, it's not but enough. But you know what would happen if they start paying you? More. Well, most schools get paid more than we do at UNM. But if they start paying guys, like giving them cash oh, to the take side. care of themselves, yeah. there'd be guys walking around with goals like this, yeah. don't you think? It'd be nice, yeah, it'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we should pay us. I'll tell you what, uh, Brian, you're a great guy, man. You. Good man. Hey, man. Brian Urlacher. We'll see you next week, everybody. Take care of yourself. Transportation for guests of Overtime with Mike North provided by Charles Joseph Limousine Service, 312-623-1428. Clothing for Mr. North and Mr. Suntress designed by Arnold Brandt, courtesy of Executive Clothiers on Elmhurst Road in Prospect Heights. Signs of success, experts in corporate and team apparel in Chicago. Call toll-free 1-877-SOS-6250. John Shaky Suntress for Overtime with Mike North, a Licorice Limited production. Ah!